Hey guys and girls, Jason here, We All Fart. I know it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a YouTube video and I apologize about that. It's been a very long time. However, life, family, different things have happened. However, I hope to be uh, uploading a lot more regularly here. So, my first video back, I'm going to be talking about a nootropic that I've been using for quite a while. Now, I know I said that I was done taking nootropics, and technically I am in one sense. However, this nootropic that I want to talk about, or I consider it a nootropic, is natural. Uh, the nootropics that I was taking before, like the paracetam and the choline and all the other stuff, are, uh, are you know, pharmaceutical type stuff. And I think that I was just kind of um, concerned about taking that kind of stuff over a prolonged period of time, even though a lot of the research in regards to paracetam in, in particular has shown that it's only beneficial, I still felt weird about it. However, this nootropic that I'm taking now uh, is natural, and it is called Kratom. Um, I'm sure lots of you in the nootropic space have heard of Kratom, but if you haven't, Kratom is basically a... Um, it's a, a tree in Southeast Asia, and what they do is they take the bark of the tree and they grind it up into powder. This right here. Now, this particular strand of kratom that I that, I'm, that I use quite frequently is called Mang Da, M A E N G D A, and basically the effects that I get when I do take it is a uh, pronounced sense of focus and concentration, which I absolutely need in my life especially when I have to do prolonged periods of computer work. Prolonged for me is three or four hours um, and keeps me on track. Now, the way that I take it is I put it in my little gel caps. These are OO gel caps. And I take about six or seven. And then about an hour later, I take about six or seven more. And that is my sweet spot for Kratom. Now, I've kind of worked up to that. I've kind of played with it uh, to determine what uh, dose best affects me and when I do it that way I get about a three or four hour stretch where it's very very pronounced that I'm very in the zone and able to accomplish what I need to accomplish in that time frame uh, this is a, a it's called a green leaf kratom there are also other uh, strands of kratom that do different things uh, some of them are really good for uh, pain uh, relief some of them also have a euphoric feeling. Some of them also have a uh, energized kind of feeling. Uh, I only have really had experience with the focus, uh, with the Mang Da. I have taken um, a strand that definitely is what you want to take when you want to get ready for bed because it really just mellows you out. It calms you down. It calms your brain down. It calms your mind down. It's fantastic stuff. A uh, little disclaimer, I did take uh, Mang Da a couple times just a tablespoon and just doused it with some water it's very earthy it's very hard to swallow it's imagine going outside on the hottest day of the year and grinding up a bunch of grass just lawn grass and then taking that it's it's just very earthy very powdery very harsh it's very hard to take that way however the effect that I got from it was almost immediate but then the side effect was it really upset my stomach, made me feel like uh, I got car sick. If any of you guys ever out there or girls out there ever got car sick, it was kind of the same feeling. However, the focus was almost immediate and it was pretty intense. It was really good. I did that twice. I got two times the same feeling of just feeling kind of nauseous. However, I was really focused. That was kind of like the give and take of it. I typically take it uh, with a snack um, and I'm, uh, there are great videos on Kratom out here. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've tried it and that it really works for me. And I feel really good about taking it because it's a natural supplement. I have heard of people um, getting addicted to it and um, having some side effects when they try decide to come off of it. Um, therefore, for me, I don't take it every day. I don't need to take it every day. However, when I do take it, it's there and it gives me a great sense of focus, a great sense of um, being in the zone. Um, kind of like Adderall a little bit. I used to take Adderall. I don't need more, but kind of like Adderall. So I highly recommend uh, just checking it out, um, seeing if it works for you. I do find that if you buy it in powder, it's a lot better price than if you were to go to buy it like a head shop in your town. Uh, they usually sell them in like little jars like this with like 30 capsules and maybe it's like $15. So it's kind of expensive. However, if you buy like bulk, 
uh, you can get a lot more for a lot less. Um, so yeah, uh, I definitely recommend Kratom Mang Da. Do your research on it. Um, yeah, and that's that's what I wanted to say. Um, I'm definitely, hopefully, going to be back on YouTube uh, more regularly. And um, yeah, have a great day, guys, and thanks for watching. Oh, and I know that I haven't responded to every one of your comments. I definitely appreciate anybody that's given my account any attention at all in my little corner of YouTube. Um, it's kind of crazy because my channel has like 250,000 views and it's just mind boggles me that people have watched my videos. Um, but I definitely appreciate it, guys. I wish I could be more regular, regular, but I definitely plan on being more regular. And um, yeah, have a great day. Oh, and if you've tried Kratom and, and, and you've had a different experience, let me know. If you've used Kratom for, um, you know, any kind of pain in your body, let me know. Or even like a euphoria feeling because uh, some of it does provide euphoria. I've never experienced that before. Uh, they also use Kratom for uh, people that are in with uh, uh, like heroin withdrawal. It somehow helps them, but i um, never done heroin. I'm not withdrawal that way, but the Mang Dai really helps me focus. So um, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.